clan chief. Uh, basically, it is the clan chief. But this is the Black Claret version. It's a good. It's a basically a good variant of the fly itself. Black Claret basically is very dark. I mean, that looks black to you, but you can just see a hint of Claret and no more. Especially seeing the feather there. Um, it's just the, the light hits it and the Claret's there. This is a slight variant. Now, the hook I'm using is a size 10 B175, which is a Camasan hook. Thread, you can use either red, or in this case I'm just going to use black, uni, and 8 Now I'm just going to put down a layer of thread. Just run it along the shank. Basically until, once you let the bobbin go, it's in line with the barb of the hook. Remove the waist piece. Now there's going to be a tag on this. Now you can use plain silver, or in this case, this is holographic silver tinsel. This is a medium, medium thickness one. Now all I do is catch it on the side, bring the thread round the bend, about 3 mil or so, and bring the thread back up. And then, to protect this, just put some super glue onto the thread, and then wind the holographic tinsel over the super glue and form the tag as you go up. You'll find this is really strong and it'll certainly last. Just come across your thread, two or three turns in to lock it down, and trim away the excess. Now for the tail, I'm just gonna use basically a stout floss. This is a Piersel's uh silk. You can buy the smaller spools, this is a heavier spools. Now the two colours I'm gonna use are basically 155 for the yellow and 166 for the red. Now I'm going to use two strands for this size of fly, I need two strands of each. And all I do is brush them together. Now variants again, you could use fluorescence if you want. But this is a traditional silk. And it's just a lovely colour. Anyway, now I'm gonna, all I'm going to do is put the, the red on top and the yellow under. And we tie it the full length of the body. Come round, basically, just take your time and tie it on where you want it. Let them separate it. The length of the tail, basically look at the body, the shank length, or two. It's up to yourself, you can have them really short and long. I just try to get a, a happy medium between the two, so it's just about there. And then trim away. For the rib, it's just a small oval silver tinsel. Again, full length of the body. At this point, I like to run the thread up, tying in the tail on the rib. Now the body is going to be seals for black claret seals for, and then bring the thread back down. Just keeping the oval tinsel on the side. Check your tail. And there you are. You got a lovely colour. Now the black claret seals for. Just about onto your thread. Nice and tight. Slide it up. And you can have it thin or thick, depending how you want it, how you want. You can have some more of the seals fucking into the hackle. And I'm just gonna basically put it on to that nice nice layer of seals for. You could use SLF or any synthetic fibre if you want. It's entirely up to you whether you use this material or not. Take away the excess. Now for the body, this is a black claret. It's a saddle hackle, cock hackle. Now this is a natural black cape. It's a Metz cape grade 2, been dyed claret. And that gives you the darkness that you want. Now you could mix the colours if you want. I mean you can actually have, um, basically, you could Mix a red through it if you want, but I'm going to put the red on in front of this hackle and then finish off with a black claret hackle in front. Now you just start at the top. Now you can quickly run it down or you can really make it really heavily dressed. Put more, more hackle on if you want. It's entirely up to yourself. I'm doing it by hand here, so just to get to the bottom. 
for a fly this size is a good place to put a few turns in, but in the smaller sizes, about four turns or so. And then bring your rib up through, break away the waist piece, or leave it until you've actually tied off the rib. I usually break it off before, it's just something I've always seemed to have practiced and done. But to be safe, I would actually tie off your rib first and then remove the hackle. Now I'm going to tidy up first, just like take the thread down, and then from going forward that I draw it back with the thread and come back up. Now I've got a piece of velcro here, uh, it's just on a lollipop stick, and I'm going to bring some of the seals fur up and into the hackle. Just watch your thread, or if you don't catch your thread with the velcro, as it will burst the thread. It's got a nice shape into the hackle and some of the seals fur into the fibres. Just looks much better. The fish is better as well. Now I've got two Chinese hackles here. I've got a black claret and I've got a red. Just a nice bright red. And I'm going to tie them in at the butt section of the hackle just to remove the fluff. Now you down two or three turns, fold back the stem. Come up two or three turns. Bring the stem up. And then remove. Basically you're tucking it back. It makes it much stronger. Fold the hackle. Now I would only go, I'd get two flies out of this hackle. A couple of turns is enough. Put the thread down. You fold the hackle back. And break it off. Do the same again with the black claret. Just remove the fluff from the bottom. Come in. Now at this point I'm going to just take it down, don't need to fold it back. And then remove the waste piece. Fold your hackle. And then do a turn in front of the other. Just drawing back the hackle and wind down. Now for a fly this size, I'd have at least two to three turns. Once you've got enough hackle, just bring the thread up beside the stem. A 9 degree bend into the actual stem. Fold it back, bring the thread to the front and over the stem, basically of the, the waste piece. And then, keeping the thread tight, you can break that off. Come in and whip finish. Trim away the waste. And there we are. A nice shape in the fly. Brush it out so it's sitting the way you like. Then all you have to do is some varnish. All the way around. Just take your time. Looking for at least two coats of varnish anyway. Two or three coats is fine. And there you are. And that's the Black Claret Clan Chief. You could slightly vary the colour by just changing the colour of the tag. Um, I've tied them in gold as well as red holographic. The rib being red or gold itself uh, is a good variant of that. But as you see, it's a great fly to have in your box. Um, certainly for wild brown trout. And there you are. And that's your Black Claret Clan Chief.